Government redoubling efforts to reform the public transport system. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDon Davis. With many complaints about the public bus system, government is moving to introduce a pilot unified system in the coming months. With help from the Inter-American Development Bank, a $500,000 grant will be used to finance the six-month project. Transport Minister the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin says already a transportation consultancy firm has been contracted to carry out the reform. It is my hope, Mr. Speaker, and my expectation that the consultant will be in place and his work will have begun to commence the new, to, to commence the pilot project. And this is what we are hoping for, my fingers are crossed, by the time the new school year begins, Mr. Speaker. In the meantime, Mr. Speaker, let us be proactive as concerned citizens. I have seen and heard much lamenting about the infractions in the public transport system. I urge yet again that we take responsibility for our transport system. I know the Road Travel Department is responsible, but I'm inviting everybody to take responsibility. And where you see abuses or infractions, to call our hotline established specifically for this purpose. The number is 322-7623 or 322-ROAD, R-O-A-D. Apart from the unified busing system during her contribution to the budget debate, Hannah Martin also talks about the big move for the road traffic department as they will soon have new accommodations. This new, lo new location will allow for state-of-the-art premises which are spacious, <laughs> facilitate rational operations of the department including inspections, examinations and licensing. But included in this and that this little thing ex excites me greatly will be a driving range. So to the staff who have been in the Clarence Bain building, I say to you, I thank you for your, I don't even know the word, Herculean patience and in indulgence in remaining in that building without complaint, basically, or with minimal complaint. You will get you out of there and you will be in cutting-edge premises, Mr. Speaker.